Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tolerant. We have roofers here this week. They are fixing the slate roof. They are currently still working on the perimeter. I think they will probably next week work on the metal sections of the roof and adding the cricket um, next to the fireplace. But they have fixed, um, so far it's Saturday and they have fixed the majority of the holes already. Um, they are almost done with all running uh, replacing all the hidden gutters and just running slate all the way down to the end of the roof so that's great and then i am working on the direct or decorative lighting where chandeliers need to go um, where decorative lamps are hanging off the ceiling in like the dining room the kitchen uh, the kitchen the uh, parlor and the living room and then i also have thomas here and he is working on um, installing all the receptacles in the second floor. A lot of people have been wondering what we decided on the ceiling. Uh, <clears throat> I know a lot of people have been wondering what we decided on the chandelier in the landing here on the second floor. So we haven't actually made up our mind yet. We are all unsure still. But what I did is so that I could at least wire it up is I added a box that is off centered um, and then I added this wood. Um, strapping so that I can um, with this with this block I can just mount a a hook anywhere along the either center of the room or center of the um, staircase and then we will just figure it out when the drywall is up I know there will be a strong support underneath it we'll screw the hook in and then just have a chain with hook uh, with wire just coming from the box to the hook and then going down to the chandelier. It's pretty typical actually. Um, a lot of places, um, a lot of chandeliers that I have seen have done that. Um, so I think we should be fine with that solution, but you just have to stay tuned if you want to find out where exactly we're going to place it. It's just, it also will depend on just how the size of the chandelier that we find. We don't have one yet, otherwise, I would obviously have shown it. But we are looking in antique stores to just find a, not just a reproduction, but we want something that was originally used, that obviously we want to convert it to electrical LEDs. Um, it probably would have been gas or candles at that time, initially when the, when the house was built, not electric yet. Um, electricity was added later. So it would have been a gas uh, chandelier. Um, so we are going to look if we can find anything like that, that we can convert into an electrical one. And then based on the size, it will move away from the, from the railing or get closer just depending on how it's going to fit.
Some people are, are probably wondering why I added a electrical box right there in the hallway when we already have um, hallway lighting. What this is actually for is we are going to attach um, some kind of track lighting over here um, that goes all the way to the end of the hallway. Um, it's going to be outside of where the, where the um, can lights are, so they're not in the way. But this track lighting is for art um, on the walls. So on the walls, we obviously want to put Julie's art. Um, she's an artist, so we want to hang those there. Um, she might want to do um, a little vernissage or some um, other exhibition at one point at our house. So I, we are adding track lighting that can be adjusted for paintings to just highlight them um, as needed. Um, so because of that, obviously, I did a dedicated spot that is just for that and we'll do it in both of our hallways. Um, I am not 100% sure yet if we are going to do it in the staircase. Obviously, on the staircase, there will be a lot of art there too, but um, it looks like the staircase itself is pretty well lit. Um, so, and it's going to be really big paintings that will go onto, onto the um, onto the staircase because you can see it from the other side of the railing or something. So from that perspective, um, we might not do highlighting uh, lighting for those things. Lights um, that go in this in the first floor that are the decorative lights. Um, I put the hangers up. I'm using heavy-duty hangers just in case we want to put heavier chandeliers or even a ceiling fan at one point. So just being ready for it. We are centering it always in the rooms based on the fireplace and then depending on if there's windows on the perpendicular wall to the fireplace if the um, we also center it on the windows or something like that, or otherwise we just put it in the center of the room. Um, I think in general, this will be a nice place. Uh, placement also in the dining room will come up. Uh, we have a very similar, so it's gonna be right center on top of the table. We so, uh, selected a place for that, um, but I've been working on those. The wire is running there. It's obviously not connected. I just ran it um, all the way to the boxes so that I can do the light switches when drywall is up because I obviously have to have a lamp before I wire it all together. So this is gonna sit here for a while until obviously we get uh, more to the finishing touches.
in case you're wondering why I'm taking all the nails out and changing it up. So I found these brackets. Let me show you a close-up of one. Okay, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm taking all the nails out and replacing them with brackets like this because it just makes it a whole lot easier to tidy up the cables as they're all coming up here to the box um, in, on one stud instead of having so many different nails right next to each other, so many cables on top of each other. This way it's really organized. Um, I like that they're a little bit more expensive than the nails of course, but all in all it's nice and tidy and organized and I prefer that especially. Obviously it wouldn't matter in the wall later on, but it's just nice to have it organized as I am working on it. The roofers have been here the last few days. As you can tell, they took off all the old hidden gutters and replaced it with um, slate roof on this side already. On this part of the roof, they are just have the ice and shield underneath it to make it waterproof, even underneath the, shing uh, the slate shingles. And then, let me show you. Hell, it might be difficult from the camera angle, but actually the rest of the roof, let me zoom in a little. Um, the rest of the roof, they finished already. So they are just have this one side left and then they have to fin refinish all the metal that is still left on the roof. Let me show you guys the ridge of the roofs that they are going to put on. They are going to take off the old metal that is currently on the roof, um, only on the ridges. The valleys are staying, they are going to scrape them. We are going to recoat them with a polymer um, solution to make it waterproof. And then they have a, um, a second coat that can go on top that is going to match exactly the same color as the ridges. And the ridges obviously are pre-made um, at, uh, at the manufacturer, or at least the panels are, and then the roofers at the, shop, oops, at the shop, they made this profile according to specs that we had on the roof. We weren't able to measure it on the roof exactly, so um, we, we come up, came up with a drawing that is very close. Um, as you can tell, it's rounded up here. It's not completely round, but this is as close as we could get it with uh, bending in the, on the machine at the roofers. And then we have um, a half an inch lip on the bottom here just so that the water doesn't penetrate up into the slates again um, so we have this obviously overlapping and I think it will look really uh, nice when it's done on top of the roof and it just fi it will finish the roof um, it will finish the roof pr uh, pretty perfectly I think um, the color is colonial red um, the color will work well with the green tones that we chose, um, that we already showed in a few videos back. Um, I think we will put a link um, here if you're, if you're looking for it. Um, and so the colors will work well together. That colonial red is very traditional in our area for Victorian houses as the metal trim pieces. So I think it will go back to original colors. They had a very similar color. It was a little bit more pink tone that um, the metal was painted with at one point or repainted at one point. So I think in general it will look really well, really nice uh, when it's on top of the roof. One of the things I'm really excited uh, to show you guys is the venting that we chose for our roof. Um, obviously all the different pipes um, from the drainage that we have in the house have to get vented so the gases that come from the sewers um, and can escape without just escaping into the house. Um, obviously you put P traps in it which keep um, that in the pipes uh, but then eventually that pipe has to also get vented up into the roof and also the, the vent helps that the P trap doesn't lose uh, the water by a siphoning mechanism. So you put the P-traps at, the, at the, the vents at the right spots and then connect them to the roof. Um, so on the vents, normally in the US, uh, it's pretty standard to just have a pipe sticking out 
um, it doesn't really matter if it rains into it because um, obviously that is a drain anyways so if it would rain into it it would just continuously drain into the um, sewer itself so there shouldn't be any issues but I don't really want to have PVC white PVC sticking out on our roof um, our slate roof that is very traditional um, I also don't want um, the old <clears throat> iron pipes they're very heavy sticking out and it's really hard to to just um, keep them from leaking so what we decided is um, our roof our roofing company actually um, had some leftover vents from another Victorian place that they did that they offered to add for free onto our contract um, just because we would have we already had ordered copper sleeves that would go over the pipes so they actually um, have pieces like this they will go on top of the roof um, in, a, in this kind of fashion, in this direction. Um, the water obviously will drain off on the front and also on the sides. There's no way the water can get in. And even here on the venting sides, um, here there's little slits. If, they will, if the water would get in, it actually has no way of coming out as the, or coming into the house because there is a, um, an extra sleeve that the that just doesn't let the water in that is higher so what will happen is our pvc pipe will be just cut short and will sit right in this opening and then this thing will just vent out to the sides and the bottom and it will look really nice it is actually copper it is not just plated um, so it is very traditional copper finish we are um, this is normally a special order but because they had some leftovers, they actually had three and we need three, or they actually had four. I actually took the fourth one too, just because I can use it for the dryer vent um, against the wall also. So I think this is gonna really make the house um, that much nicer on the roof. Here is a close up of the roof section that they already finished. Obviously you can tell the, there's a different, slightly different uh, color right now on the slates that is just because the our roof hasn't really been cleaned it is the exact same slate but because our roof hasn't been cleaned forever it um, obviously has a little discoloration and the other one is just from raining on and actually getting cleaned when my dad was um, sorting them out so that's why it's a slightly different color but you can tell they use these copper strips to hang the layer that is going underneath an existing layer they are hanging them with some copper strips or anywhere any spots where a slate was missing they use the same copper pieces to hang the piece uh, the new slate into it so that they have something to uh, nail against well you might be wondering how much electrical we have left well we have finished the second floor basically everything the only thing that is missing which we will not be able to do until actually the um, the drywall is coming up we still have the <clears throat> well if you're wondering what uh, kind of electrical stuff we still have to do we have in the second floor um, all the receptacles done we have the majority of the lighting is done all the can lights are installed um, the only thing that i still have not connected is the bathroom um, i might be able to get that done tomorrow um, after the live stream um, then otherwise in the second floor i have run all the wires for everything the only thing that isn't really hooked up yet are the is the chandelier and that's really just because we, we can't really do that until we have drywall up because you need to know exactly where the chandelier is going to go the chandelier would be in the way when the drywall goes up so that is just uh, wired up but not actually connected um, in the first floor we have everything also wired um, the receptacles are not completed yeah, thomas is going to do that next week and every, everything else is really done there too I have just like in the uh, in the second floor the sections with the chandeliers and the decorative lightings um, wall cone uh, wall scones and stuff like that are not um, fully done because I can't um, connect them because they're not cans I cannot connect them until uh, the drywall is in 
So all that stuff um, is puts us a real good progress. What's next? Well, we have to um, still do a little bit of framing around areas where the drywall comes together in corners that we added, um, things that we changed. We obviously need to have um, the sections where people can, uh, where the drywall can be nailed in against and isn't just loose. So I have to add those kind of things. There's a few spots where I have to uh, enclose piping. I haven't done that yet because obviously the pipes aren't fully glued together yet. So that brings me to the next point and that is plumbing. So the plumbing is basically ready for the inspector to look at. Um, so I have to schedule that. I wanted to wait until I do the electrical. So I, um, this is a smaller town, so I might actually have the same person. So therefore the, the person can look at both things at the same time. Um, and if not, otherwise, um, at least it's um, ready for both of them. So we need to then, after the inspector looks at the plumbing, we need to glue it all together. And we also need to finalize the plumbing in the uh, basement, obviously how it's gonna connect to the sewer line. Um, I haven't done that yet because I am now at different levels just based on how I had to run um, underneath beams that they didn't really do correctly before. So I need to do the uh, connection to the city sewer um, again, at least where the, where the pipe is going into the ground. Um, up until there, I have to just rearrange a little bit. Um, so plumbing is still on the line. Um, I need to order windows. I have no idea um, currently with all the crazy supply chain issues um, where how long it's going to take. I would assume it's going to take at least four or five weeks before the windows are in. So I really need to order them and I really don't want to order all of them at once because I want to test with one or two windows. Um, of how it's gonna how it's gonna go because it's obviously not just a hey order window and just replace it because these uh, windows aren't exactly standard size. Um, so I um, I need to try that. I need to order a couple and um, try it out. And then I would assume when the entire windows are here, I'll have my dad come and we will do it together um, of installing actually all the windows in the house. Um, that brings me to the next thing. We have to do the windows first before we can do the siding outside. Um, so we have to do that. And then when the siding is done, we have the roofers come back and do all the gutters. I don't want to do the gutters right now because I have to take it down when I do obviously the siding again. So obviously still a lot of steps. And then when siding and windows are completed, then we can do insulation um, at that point too. And then really at that point, we have a tight house that can really at that point all have um, air conditioned, it can be air conditioned and um, it's going to be nice in here already. Obviously not going to be finished. And then the drywall is going to come and um, some of the other finishes with trim and um, just finishing touches everywhere. Well, I think this is it for this time. Uh, enjoy your week and I'll see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye!